You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? They want to buy Cassidy caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. <sighs> Mojave happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. So if you want to buy all of Cassidy Caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right, trading history for a slip of paper. What did you just say to me? Cause you sure as hell got my attention now. That's fair. But there's been that voice inside me saying the same thing, and Whiskey wasn't killing it. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? So, fighting boredom is your argument, huh? Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right, I'm in. Hey. Welcome back. I hear it's business as usual at the Gunrunners, as if nothing unusual happened. Excellent work. We'll be able to use the schematics you acquired to begin manufacturing our own weapons immediately. We'll provide some to you at a discount. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. Something has actually come up. A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old sarsaparilla bottling plant. Go there, locate the bottle cap press, and disable it. What would you like to know? People have been counterfeiting bottle caps forever, but it's always been small scale. A bottle cap press is a whole other threat. We can't have anyone devaluing our currency by mass producing new bottle caps. Certainly, bottle caps do wear out or get damaged. Some people even insist on using bottle caps and explosive devices for some reason. We may get a point to scour pre-war bottling plants and recover or disable the bottle cap presses. Seems we missed one. Lots of little things. The paint on the label, the machining, the type of metal it's made from. I know there's counterfeit caps floating around, of course. Fortunately, they're very time-consuming to make, so the numbers are small. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? It's been a pleasure. Thank 
Commencing attack. Rocket number 27438 reporting. There seems to be a malfunction with the line, sir. Wait a minute. You lock my manager. Intruder! Hostile target. Sure could use a drink. Welcome back. Good. I'm sure you were thorough. Here's your payment for a job well done. It's been a pleasure. Welcome to the Silver Rush, New Vegas' best source of laser and plasma weapons. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. It should only take a moment. There, I've stored all of your weapons, you're clear to enter. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late and I wanna know why. Miss Van Graaff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Okay, everyone. People are crazy. Show's over. Back to work. Get the fuck away from me. The last man who bothered me volunteered to help test our weapons. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Not at all. There are chief competitors in this region and many others. That makes them our enemies. 
While I respect their business acumen, I'm obligated to try to destroy them however I can. That's business, after all. It just so happens a position opened up recently. We currently need another body to guard the entrance outside. Think you can handle that? Wonderful. I already have a man outside who can show you the ropes and get you set up. His name is Simon. He's been with the family for years, so listen to what he says and follow his instructions. Welcome to the Sylve. Ah, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. You can always tell a rookie. You look too eager. Get the job a few hours, and the shine will come right off. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Take your position while I get your stuff out. Good. Look around and get a feel for where customers and risks can enter and exit the area while I get your gear ready. Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor with a nice dark coat of paint for both brand recognition and sheer intimidation value. Next, your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your preference, laser or plasma? Lasers have a high rate of fire, but not a lot of stopping power. Plasma, on the other hand, is slow as a mule, but with a kick to match. So, what'll it be? Good choice. I prefer laser-based weapons myself. But the boss lady says she wants at least one guard using a plasma rifle. Says the lightning bits draw in more people. Whatever. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Potential customers are to be permitted normal entrance. That is, after we pat them down for weapons. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Don't start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie just insulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, and I started here. Lastly, don't abandon your post. We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. That goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. Trust me, the rifle and armor are nice, but they're not worth your life. Other than that, relax. There's usually some eye candy coming and going from the Wrangler over there at some point, so the view's not too bad. Settle in. You've got some hours left before your shift ends. Here comes a winner. I'll let you handle this one. Sounds like a stupid policy to me. Good. Stick to the rules. Another one coming. You're on. Uh, hi. I was, uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. Can I go in? Fine by me. He's clean. See? Not so hard, is it? Heads up. Looks like we got another customer.
Howdy. I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? Now, hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? I suppose it's all right. If there's no other choice... He's clean. See? Told you so. Looks like that guy's headed this way. Don't screw it up. Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? That's not really necessary, is it? I already told you I got this here revolver, right? Damn, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Hey! <laughs> now, what in the hell do you suppose that was about? Help me clean this up. No one's gonna want to shop here with the corpse out front. Crap. This I do not need to do. Keep your head straight, rookie. Things are about to get interesting. Hey, Simon. How's it hanging? Looks like you've got a little helper today. What can I say? Business has been good lately. We can afford to help. Good to hear, buddy. So is the boss lady in? You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along that I'm always thinking of her. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tell her. You'll do that for me, won't you? I would, but I tend to distract the boss lady a little too much. She can't help herself. Anyway, I got things to do. Later, Simon. Way to keep your head, rookie. Let's hope for you yet. It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Oh, I'm gonna need the rifle and armor back. Boss's orders. Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. You kept away the undesirables, patted down the rest for weapons, and kept your cool. That is to say, you performed as instructed. Simon was impressed, and so am I. So you get a small bonus with your normal pay. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience, and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with, assuming you're still interested in making some money. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. Are you the Van Graaff's emissary? Do you have what we requested? Huh. Then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. We've already concluded our business. I'm watching you closely. Welcome back. Did you have news for me, or are you just here for the guns? And? Don't leave me in suspense. 
What was their reaction? Good. Good. Here's your payment. If you'll excuse me, I have some thinking to do. Oh. Jean-Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. Ah, just the person I was looking for. Your name came up in a discussion we had recently. My sister is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. I don't think you have what it takes to work for this family. Luckily for you, I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. What do you say? Want to make some real money? All right, then. If we're going to work together, there's only one thing you need to know about me. I like things simple. Recently, Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big-time player. We're talking more caps than you'd probably see in a lifetime. Your part in this is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose end. To do that, there's a girl I need you to find. Her name is Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was thinking with a name like that. But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Find her. Bring her here so I can talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. You don't want us chatting, trust me. As for the girl, I just want to talk to her. And if you can't bring her here, then you're no use to me or Gloria. So if you want to cause trouble in here over nothing, then go on, try. If your answer isn't yes, I'll bring her here, or no, I won't because Gloria had me pegged wrong, then we're done here. I got business here. Need to watch the shop, make sure things are running smoothly. Besides, if I came for the girl, I'm not all friendly and charming like you are. She might get the wrong idea. Find her, bring her back here so we can talk. Needless to say, there's some good money in it for you. Well, now that I'm free of the outpost, I was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Check out the site where they died. <sighs> Upside of Vegas, hear tell? Trapped at the Mojave outpost, so I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit, so the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. Caught word back on what happened from Rangers. Guess they found enough in the wreckage to identify it. <sighs> Only wishful thinking on my part, most likely. At the least, I'd like to pay my respects. I got them into this mess. I owe them that much. Thanks. I appreciate it. Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were expecting raiders and over-inquisitive NCR border guards. There might be something left. If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. And I'd prefer to see the bodies with my own eyes. Ask them then. Sounds good to me. The Kaisar has marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. And... Retribution! You're just... nothing left. Looks like whoever it was, was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn, looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed ash meant burned. So close to the Vegas wall, too. Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. No idea. Maybe catch the sun in their eyes? Maybe they wanted the caravan to come to them, walk into an ambush. We should check the wagon. 
They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's yours. The least I can do for hoofing it all this way with me. You know what? What happened in my caravan? Not the first time I've heard about an attack like that. One of our caravans got hit a few months back, and the caravan been burned too, along with the cargo. I wonder if he made the same mistake, and that other caravan got hit with energy weapons too. Yeah, it's a ways though. Hell of a detour. You sure? All right then, let's move out. More energy weapons hit this caravan. The place has been picked clean. This is Brotherhood level murder here. But they don't do things like that. This was done with a purpose. Let's poke around a bit, see what we can find. Might be something in the wreckage. What's that? Looks like a map. Got the route along the west of Vegas, and they've marked another spot. Over here along this stretch. That's fucked up. Middle of nowhere. Yeah. Something's wrong. I can feel it. It's not any closer than the first. So if you'd rather let be, let me know. All right then, let's move out. Another caravan burned, except someone made camp here, and I never heard about this attack. Let's look around. Something stinks. That does it. That's all I need to know. Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. They were behind burning these caravans, and they've got to answer for them. I'm gonna get some extra ammo, a few bottles of whiskey, and then show them how Cassidy's settle accounts. NCR? Are you out of your fucking mind? That'd take years. And with the war with the Legion, no way they're gonna waste time running up the Crimson Caravan or the Van Graffs. Don't care much for which one we kill first. Whether settling accounts with McLafferty or making that bitch Gloria eat her hair. The Van Graffs are gonna be tougher so we'll likely get killed there. If we go to the Crimson Caravan camp, we'll just need a lot of bullets. Still, we give the Van Graffs the what for, that means all those guns they used on my caravan, we can take and use on the Crimson Caravan. And that's it for the Crimson Caravan. Now, on to settle accounts with Gloria Van Graff. Putting her down would suit me just fine. Might be a little tougher than the Crimson Caravan. Van Graffs are like a nest of rattlers. And the guns they've got are Brotherhood caliber. Oh, I'm sure. Killing never felt so good. Could almost hear the dead behind me guiding my hand. Now that that bitch is in hell, they'll have a shot at her too. So what are we waiting for? We've got more work to do. Music to my ears. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all at the Silver Rush. Welcome back. I hope you... As I live and breathe, Rose of Sharon Cassidy, the late Rose of Sharon Cassidy, was hoping you were on that caravan I massacred. But Crimson Caravan and Van Graffs won't need to worry about you anymore. Wahhabi's well, ours, and we're shutting you down for good. <laughs> really? We'll see about that.
Just trim the Van Graaff family tree. I think Freeside will breathe a little easier now. Payback's a bitch, ladies. And between Gloria and Alice, that settles accounts as far as I'm concerned. Hope they're in hell right now, blinking, trying to figure out where they fucked up. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I am. Never realized I had all that anger in me. Makes me wonder how much more I can settle with bullets. You know, when I first heard about them, I was so mad. But there was this little part of me that said, you can't do to them what they did to you. I say fuck that part. I feel purified. And I love the fact that there's no more loose ends. That's it. Except for one thing. Thanks. Not many people in my company would have done what you did for me without some hesitation or asking me to cool down. But you back me. Even when the odds were against us. Words aren't enough, but thanks. Don't have to tell me twice. Feel more alive than I ever have. Over here! <laughs> 